Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I hope you're well today. And I felt inspired to make a video about something that's been on my mind, massively prevalent in my heart. And that is the topic of when, when we hide things, things become screwed up. <laughs> when society and culture hides stuff, suppresses, denies, hides, things absolutely become screwed up. It's also true, it's very true with the way the Illuminati or the bankers or else just society have denied and supp suppressed sex and sexual nature. Um, most of us don't even know our sexual parts and we are taught to not accept and to not love ourselves and our bodies. And our bodies and our sexual nature is our creative energy. It's our basal chakras. It's our creative energy in the world. And that, by suppressing the sexual nature and our bodies, it permeates our creative ability and our expression in all areas of our life out into the world. So it's a very clever tactic to try and suppress a society and a culture and a world's um, sexual comfortableness and comfortableness in their own skin. So hats off to the Illuminati for being so clever to do that. But uh, hopefully now we can become free and be willing to let go of this and see the truth of it. Similarly with emotions, when we when we hide, you know, I fit, when we hide how we truly feel, things become screwed up. So when we hide the truth, we hide the truth, things become screwed up. <clears throat> So, I'd like to, the, the solution, the remedy is to, be, to, to know your rights and entitlements and your true, your nature. And that is, we all are sexual beings, um, spiritual divine beings, physical beings, sexual beings, like emotional beings, mental beings. And it's okay to have thoughts or feelings or wants, desires, um, to, we all have needs, to need to want shelter, warmth, safety, comfort, security, a certain sense of predictability sometimes, and even a sense of unpredictability. We all like, like you know, we don't want to know everything always laid out in front of us in life. So what's truly at the crux of it in my heart is I want us, you listening now, to fully accept and love yourself in every single way and to grow more aware of why you do things, your intentions and your needs and your wants in life. Become aware and more conscious. Um, and not to, not to think you have to hide or to be ashamed. So really this, is what this video is about shame and guilt and suppression. It's about shame and suppression or self-incrimination. Um, outer incrimination starts with self-incrimination. When you think you're wrong and bad and dirty and all that stuff, then you start to project it outwards and judge and call others those things also. So when we find inner peace, that's when we can share our inner peace with other people. So, when when we hide and suppress sex and our sexual parts and the whole idea of sex, the whole topic, and we make, we make it into an underground, dirty movement, a weird, perverted, unnatural thing. And really, there's nothing more natural than sex. How did we get here from, a sex, from sex, sexual energy, creative energy, pure, beautiful, lovely, creative energy? So, like, that's how the, the species goes forward, from this sexual act. Um, so, that's really all I wanted to say. Um, in the tribes where people go around naked, um, and almost naked, there isn't any sexual deviancy. It doesn't fester, because there's no hiding. You see what I mean? So, the next exercise that we can do is to say to our, ourselves fully and any body part that we may have a discomfort with 
I fully accept and love you and thank you. I ex and, or I accept myself the way I am. And give thanks. And this is actually an amazing mantra to say to other people. I accept, may I accept, respect and love you exactly the way you are or have been at this moment. And that can open your heart. It really is life transformative. It made a difference with me in my life totally. And when I remember this, it helps me so much. May I accept, respect and love this person precisely the way they are at this moment. Um, or have been in the past. And this moment actually is always basically just about the past. Because <laughs> like, this moment, well, it's past already, it's past. So, yeah. Um, just, I'll show you the view, I'm just like looking at a little bit of a view of the town. It's nice, isn't it? So, here I am in Ireland. and uh, So, uh, what else? Um, Another thing we can do exercise is to like look at ourselves naked or and say this but but also just to generally be more nude or naked a little bit if it's warm enough and we, we want to just to look at our bodies more instead of trying to like hide from our own body so we, we that's it really that's that's the message uh, let go of shame guilt and embarrassment become more comfortable friendly with yourself and your body and go forward from having heavier feelings and heaviness before to go to feeling more lightness and <laughs> light. <laughs> and that feels really good and that's what we want in life in the spiritual journey. So I wish you all the best and go forward and of course enjoy sensuality, sexual pleasure, <sighs> massage, any form of like healthy sexual expression and energy. And if you feel you're like very deviated or you, you need or want help or suppressed or like unwell kind of like or addicted or out of balance, I'd suggest seeking help from people who, who you feel could help you, such as counselors, energy healers, um, psychic mediums, people who can help feel or your energy or help heal your energy and sort out your energy let go of the blocks and open up some of the chakras more if they're stuck or blocked 